And on the left, you have Villa Eno by Palat. It's a model of how to use the land, how to relate to water. It actually works very much like the Korea house. And he brought that model to our Venetian model, the only democracy available as a model of the time. And he built on that model in America his own house. And he built, for example, he designed University of Virginia, which was built after his death. Like Thomas Jefferson, is a conjugal also. Like the French model, model, but a Venice model, uh, got it. That is, so, 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 19세기 초반에 세운 게저 격자를 가져와 가지고 적용을 했다는 겁니다. Unfortunately, people that teach history of architecture who are not usually architects, they don't understand anything about architecture. They teach you names, dates, but they cannot teach you architecture because they don't know it. They are not doing. It. 건축 이론가들은 건축가들이 아니기 때문에 몇 년도에 지어졌고 누가 지어졌고 너무나 많이 다 아는데 건축을 모르기 때문에 그 실제로 그 어떻게 저게 지어졌나를 절대 모른다는 거죠. 이론 가르치는 사람은 절대 알수 없다 이거죠. So for example in the case of Jefferson who was a practicing architect a historian a very cultured person and also a politician a citizen uh, the kind of architecture he produced in America is called Palladian style, the style of Palladio in America. Thomas Jefferson is a architect and a lot of people who are working in the world. He has a Palladian style in the United States. So the ridiculous historians immediately take an attitude that is a practicing architect attitude and then change it into style. Style is you know, this kind of clothes, that kind of clothes. It's not the idea of clothes, it's clothes with stripes, with squares, no. So they change it into a picture. So idea is not important anymore, the picture is important. Big mistake. Good to be and good to be younger. 그, 저 안에 숨어 있는 그 이유를 찾기 전에, 예를 들어서 옷을 예를 든다면, 옷에 줄이 있거나, 양식으로 자꾸 나온다는 거죠. 무슨 양식, 무슨 양식, 무슨 양식. 근데 그 양식이라는 것 자체가 아무 의미가 없다는 거죠. 왜냐하면 그 내용, 담고 있는 내용이 디자이너가 그걸 뭘 했다는 거를 알고 있지 않기 때문에. 어, 그러니까, 그 지금 이론가들이 실무하거나 디자인하지 않은 이론가들에 대한 한심함을 좀 얘기를 합니다. 좀 공격적입니다, 오늘 사실. Try to go a little bit faster. There are three models that I want to show you. What is the model of New York City? It's a grid city. The New York City grid was designed by businessmen, not by architects. All the people doing business in New York decided that the city must work for business. It must also work for residential, it must also provide to the worker very good living conditions, for example, like Central Park. Workers don't have money to go on weekends to the countryside, they're poor. So this rich businessman made a big part of the city, 20% of the service of the city, is for the workers. Why? Because a happy worker you can exploit better than an unhappy work. Okay, so it's not that these businessmen were very nice guys. They understood business, which was good for you, who is a poor person, and it's good for them. They make a profit, you make a good salary. Everybody's happy. That's democracy. That's America. That's capitalism. 
건축가나 도시계획가가 참여한 게 아니고 전부 다 사업하는 사람들이 왕창 모여가지고 이 비싼 땅을 어떻게 가장 효율적으로 해먹을 거냐. 근데 웃기죠. 그러니까 최, 최고의 선택은 브리드로 가는 것인데 그게 16불이 사실은 어, one, one sixteenth of Manhattan Island is Central Park, as far as I know. 그러니까 16분의 1이 센트럴 파크를 크게 차지를 하게 되죠. 그런데 그렇게 비즈니스맨들이 그러면 우리가 아파트 지어가지고 더 좋게 하지 왜 그렇게 저 땅을 허비하느냐. 그러면 은 여러 가지 이유가 있겠지만 지금 김희들 교수님 얘기는 비즈니스맨들이 하니까 그 노동자들이 가서 쉬고 멀리 교회로 놀러를 못 가니까 쉬고 하면 은 생산력이 높아진다. 쉬고 놀면서 하면 생산력이 높아진다는 간단한 이유 때문이다. When I left Europe in 1968, uh, they were shooting people with machine guns when we crossed the border. So it was 80% chance I was going to die. 자기 68년도에 그 유럽을 도망쳐올 때 국경선 넘을 때 80% 거의 죽을 뻔했다는 거죠. 그냥 총으로 막 쏘니까 그래서. So I asked my father. I said, "Listen, you got." 10 seconds to explain to me why I should go. Why should I leave communism and go to capitalism? And he answered in 10 seconds. He said, Vivio, in communism, you are going to work like a dog all your life for a future that never comes, and you're never going to have something to eat. You're going to die without food. 10초 동안 아버지, 아버지한테 그때 같이 도감을 쳤겠죠. 물었다 이거죠. 10초만 아버지 설명해도 우리가 왜 도망가야 되느냐. 그러니까 음. 아버지 대답이 뭐냐면은 그 지금 그러니까 왜 공산주의를 등지고 자본주의로 가야 되느냐. 그 얘기를 했을 때 아버지 답이 뭐냐면 공산주의 있으면은 죽도록 일하고 얻는 거 하나도 없고 나중에 결국은 못 먹고 죽는다. 답이었다. 네. In capitalism, you're going to work like a dog for today, not for the future, and you're always going to have something to eat. 그러니까 자본주의에 가면 은 이틀 일하고 아까는 이제 미래가 없다는 얘기, 공산주의에서 얘기했는데 그 이틀 일하고 그 미래가 있다는 거죠, 잘 먹고. So I said, fantastic, I'm going. <웃음> 와, 좋다, 나 간다. 예, 그렇게 갔대요. So think. Very clearly in your head about what I'm telling you, because you don't have life experience, and you're gonna have to make choices when you vote, and you should vote with your head, not with your ass. 그러니까 여러분 이뭐 얘기가 어차피 우리 어제 선거 선거를 다 했으니까 투표를 다 하고 선거 결과가 나왔는데, 그러니까 여러분 머리로 투표를 해야지 엉덩이로 하면 안 된다. Okay, the second model is Las Vegas, which is a very crazy city. Las Vegas is a very crazy city. It's one street, one big street, in the middle of the desert, with the most crazy architecture on both sides of the street. This city was invented, the model was invented by businessmen, the people who make casinos. Not by architects. Architects came later and said, please, please, give a casino to build. But they didn't invent the idea of Las Vegas City. They just made silly buildings. Las Vegas is a city that is always a city that is 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 a city 그러니까 사업하는 사람들이 의해 가지고 창조된 건축가 그 도시라는 거죠. 건축가들은 나중에 다 만들어지고 나서 카지노 설계 하나 좀 더, 설계 하나 좀 더, 뭐 이제 이 정도로밖에 역할이 없었다. 말하자면 이제 그 건축가들이 편협한 이야기를 좀 하는 겁니다. Architects don't invent anything. Reinforced concrete was invented by a French gardener in, 19, in 1874. 1874년도에 RC 구조가 그 정원사에 의해서 만들어졌습니다. 건축가는 아무것도 창조한 게 없답니다. 
Cur curtain wall was invented by Scandinavian, by Norg Norwegian peasants about 300 years ago. And I can give you many, many examples. Architects just come, they copy, they say it's mine, they get copyright. They're thieves. Okay. The third model is the suburban model, Las Vegas. Las Vegas was a relatively small city. It grew very fast after 1850. And because Americans like to live in a one family home, house, Everybody wants in America a house. They don't want to live in an apartment. Some do, but they don't like it. They want a house. But if everybody has a house, the city is going to become enormous. So Las Vegas became this uh, pizza that keeps growing because people want to live in a house. And of course, you need a car to go to the house. And that's the idea of suburbia, very American idea. 교회 지역이라는 게 사실은 미국의 뭐 어떻게 보면 반영품이라고 볼수 있는데 로버트 벤츄리, 데니스 코 브라운 얘기로는 그런데 그 결국은 라스베가스가 미국 사람들이 전부 다 단독주택에 살기를 원하기 때문에 그걸 계속해서 얼반 스포일러고 이렇게 도시가 계속 확장되는데 아파트 사는 사람들로 안 좋아하죠 맨하탄 아니면은 그러니까 그리고 차, 차가 필요하고 그러다 보니까 천, 1950년대 막 크게 계속 라스베가스가 확장되기 시작했습니다. I never use the words good or bad. These are adjectives. I'm not interested in adjectives. I simply describe a situation. So I'm not telling you Las Vegas is good, Los Angeles is good, New York is good. I'm telling you this is the way it is. New York is good. This is not a joke. This is how it was made. I'm talking about it. I trust more a Korean shop owner who sells vegetables in New York than I trust an urban planner. You, you, I trust more the opinion of a Korean grocery owner. I trust it more than city planning commission in New York. I work for city planning commission. New York is a 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 city planning commission. So, for example, in Manhattan, you have the plan of Manhattan, the Central Park. All the business people that lived here and in Brooklyn, they decided to make a grid. And then they hired two architects, Olmsted and Vo, uh, to actually make the project. Olmsted and Vo didn't have the idea. It is the business people who told them what to do. They just made a nice plan. I give an example. All this portion of Central Park, you see this portion? This was given by businessmen to the city of New York for a little tax break in order to make the park bigger. They said, oh, park is too small. We're going to give the land. So the park becomes big. We want the reimbursement, you know, normal reimbursement, no profit. So park is big, so citizens are happy. So they work well, and we can exploit them and make more money. 1853년에 저기 공모전이 있었죠. 나라탄이 계속해서 주택이 들어서니까 도저히 이게 숨 모시는 도시다 이렇게 돼가지고 저기 센트럴 파크 공모전이 있었는데 프레덱 로 옴스테드하고 프렌치 칼 보라 사람이 두 사람이 팀이 되는 센트럴 파크에 당선자가 됐는데 그걸 당선이 되도록 한 거는 뭐냐면은 주변에 사업하는 사람들이었다 이거죠. 그 다음에 그 자기가 가진 땅들 주변 점점 커진 이유는 땅 가진 사람들에게 보상을 해주고 더 많은 주 
매장 땅 보상감을 딱 주고 공원을 더 키웠습니다. 그래서 공원은 그리드 안에 딱 들어가게 만들었죠. Because we are architects and because all of us architects need to go to a psychiatrist, okay, we think of dimensions like 500 meters, 1000 meters, you know, architects. We need to go to the doctor. 저희 신고인사들한테 그런 주가들이 전부 다 가봐야 된단 말이에요. 우리 항상 500m, 뭐 5000m, 뭐 이걸 생각한다 이거죠. A normal person thinks of time. So New York City block has a dimension as 85 meters by uh, 350 meters. Right. Those are dimensions. But I have to tell you time. North, south, two minutes, two and a half minutes. East, west, seven minutes. So when I walk normally, that's how much time it takes. So that's the idea of New York. That's the idea of how New York works business-wise. North, south, two minutes, it's all business shops. East, west, seven minutes, it's all residential. Okay. 건축가들이었으면 몇 메다 몇 메다 몇 메다 이렇게 딱 정했을 텐데 사업하는 사람들이 장사 뭐 예전에 장사를 하는 사람들 돈벌이를 하는 사람들이 사업하는 사람들이었기 때문에 이건 그 사람들은 항상 시간을 생각하는 거죠. 우리는 거리를 생각, 다이멘션을 생각하는데 시간을 생각해서 85m 동서 어, 남북쪽이 85m 짧은 거는 2분 거리로 걷는 거. 그 다음에 동서 거리는 스위스라고 하죠. 에브뉴 스위스라고 하죠. 스위스는 어, 325m. 그러니까 그 걸어서 7분 정도 그 주택가가 위치, 위치합니다. 예. 그래서 이게 시간에 의해서 만들어진 거리로 나온 거지. 그, 그 수치를 먼저 만들어 가지고 잡아낸 거 아니다 말이죠. If you go to different cities, famous cities in the world like Barcelona, Barcelona.